Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome. Um, I just wanted to come on here and share um, just some changes or additions that I've made to my 2024 weeks. I will put a video below of my original flip through of my 2024 weeks. If you've been following me for a while you know that I um, I am a bullet journaler and uh, I have a, some Franklin Covey in here. It's a memory keeping system and it also includes a dash of GTD. This is just a temporary cover that I'm using. It's uh, from Printpression. They, I believe they no longer sell this. It's, I got this on sale years ago, like for $10. And this is one of my, um, you know, covers that I love to use when I have a, or need a temporary um, holding for my, uh, for my Hobonichi weeks. So this is, let me see, where am I gonna start? So as I updated my weeks, um, I like to decorate, I'm a very functional planner, but I do like to decorate my weeks. Now I like to decorate my weeks at the beginning of the year or at the end of this year. So by January 1st, everything is set up. And I will, you know, sometimes add stickers to like white space on the notes pages in the weeks area. But um, I typically do all my decorating at the beginning of the year because during the throughout the year I'm updating my you know my memory keeping system the one I do via stickers and so I just like to write and update my memories and what I'm doing um, more so than I do like decorating throughout the year so it just saves time um, long term and also I was thinking about my YouTube there's let me show you in my last video I did not show this but let me pull out let me see this is my little passport that I used or started using at the beginning of the year and I wanted to use a passport so I found a reason to use it so I thought if I can just document my YouTube videos that um you know that I've been doing and just so I have a visual and this is July this is August and you can see it kind of dropped off when something I use or need is not in my you know planner I kind of forget about it and so there's certain things that I do like to have in one place that is I decided that that is one of them I do keep some of my YouTube information in here like uh, my Instagram and and I really don't do anything with this I mean I don't like follow and see you know how many but I like keeping track because it's something that I'm currently doing and I don't want to look back years ago you know or years from now and think you know it would have been nice to know the growth of my YouTube channel and how things were I just wanted to keep the information here but I needed some place because I use my monthlies for um, appointments and stuff like that, I uh, didn't have a place to put my YouTube. Now, this book, I'm only using it, this is book one of three. I have three Hobonichi weeks that I bought for the year. This is January through April. And then my second book will be four, four months. And then my last book will be another four months. And the reason I did that is because I liked, I wanting to use my day on two pages. I've never done this before. I've always used day on one page and used two books per year, which I just did this past year, 2023. And I covered up the months and I figured I could have used those months and redated them and used them for my YouTube and so what I did is here it's right here so what I did is I just created my you know drew them out and then decorated it so this is my YouTube which is I will use exactly um, so whenever I make a video I will use a stamp the stamp that I like to use is from recollections it's the whole set not this set but part of this set here and uh, this is the little stamp that I use to let me know when I make a YouTube video and I stamp it in red. And the marker that I use for that is just a Crayola Super Tip. I keep it very simple. Um, I use, I love to use uh, Super Tips, Crayola Super Tips. I've been using them for years um, when I use my stamps in my planner. So I will use that and then just right in the back, I have the, um, in my 100, I, I will keep track of my YouTube back here, you know, like the name, um, but I will also keep track of it here. 
here I will see more of a, it's easier to see like a list of, okay, I've only, you know, created nine or eight or six, whatever the number is, because it flows in number form. And then that will kind of tell me, well, I need to start creating something soon because I only create videos when I feel led to. I don't have a set schedule. So I can't really say I'm going to create, you know, Mondays and Thursdays because that doesn't work for me because I may, one, be too busy or two, um, I may not feel, you know, up to just talking and sharing. And um, believe me, the videos do not come out <laughs> at all when I, I'm not in the mood to really create. So that's kind of when I do it. I just kind of turn on the video. And I just talk. I don't have anything pre-prepped. I kind of have an idea of what I want to talk about, but I don't, you know, have the details and plan everything out. I just kind of turn on the camera and start talking. So that is kind of like a visual for me. And this is February and March. And that's April. And so a lot of my stickers are, you know, Happy Planner, Recollections um, from... Um, Michaels and, and then this starts my notes pages and then um, my weeks my weeklies let me bring you down just a little bit so my weeklies I decided to order some kits I'm not one to order kits because if I have to order my kits and to me that's a uh, it's an added expense um, I don't mind buying them when they're on sale and buying some and that's kind of what I did because I don't know I just felt led to I think uh, the person that was using this was um, everything Marmy and I just love the way her weeks look with the specific kits that she had and so I wanted to use some of the kits and then there's you're going to see weeks that don't have kits and I just kind of improvised in those areas. So this is a kit here. Let me pull them out here. I ordered this little vinyl to 2024. I have not found a place for that yet. But this kit is from Hello Happiness um, dot co. No, Hello Happiness. Yeah, co on Etsy. So um, I wanted to, I don't know, I just ordered just different ones. I'm going to just flip through these carefully. I did not use these all um, because, why didn't I use this one? Oh, this is more for springtime. And so when I have my next book, this only goes from January through April. And so May, that's what I wanted to save this for. I, I couldn't stop. Yeah, this is how pretty, they look pretty colors. And they're simple kits, just one page. And I like that. I wanted to order the gummy bears. And then I ordered um, the cat one, this one. I'm not doing a very good job of these, am I? Okay, I guess I could hold them like this. <laughs> I don't do well with kids, like I said, but that's the way that looks. And this is just the washi strips on the bottom. That's the gummy bears. And that's the cats. And then this one, I had to I had to get one for camping, Hobo Weeks glamping, which is that. So that's what we do. And then this one, I wanted to use it for. I wanted to use it this year, but I I had already pre decorated my week, so I couldn't I couldn't fit it in. And so for my grandson's birthday in November, I will decorate the weeks with dinosaurs. Oops, I have it upside down because that's what he likes. So I bought that for him. This is for my other granddaughter whose birthday is in December. And this is my other granddaughter that's birthday is in July. So in those specific weeks, I will decorate um, with this. And then my other granddaughter uh, in March. And because March is in this book, I used it up. And so, um, and then I have two more grandbabies that are coming. Um, one will be born uh, the end of, or the beginning of April, and one the end of May, or Mayish, sometime in there. So I want to go to Hobby Lobby and get some stickers for boys because they both will be boys, and so decorate the, you know, the the week that way and my dailies. So here I just got, I don't know, I just got some trash cans. Aren't they cute? And so anyway. I, there, there are times when I really just want to use stickers um, and I have tons of stickers but like kits and so this is the really the first time that I started using kits like you know in a lot of spreads so 
anyway, this is what it looks like. And that's my Zoe in the background. If you hear her crying, she wants to leave <laughs> my office. And um, so she has to kind of stay here with me because she's only a year old. And I walked in this morning and she tore my husband's pillow into like a gazillion pieces. It's, I just left it there because I... Uh, it's it's going to be a lot to clean that up. So I'm going to have to wait till my husband gets home so I can, <laughs> he can help me hold the blanket up so I can vacuum all the, the stuff in it. Um, okay, so this is uh, January. And so if you can tell, not every... I didn't have kits for every week because it was it would be too expensive. So what I did is I used washi, but I kind of used the same format. Here's my little trash bin every Tuesday. So I did highlight with mile liners, you know, the, the week and then the weekends were different color. And then I wrote weekend because uh, this year I used all stickers for weekends, but I, it had like a bump and I didn't like that. So, and then um, my vid YouTube video stamp and then my call stamp, you know, to make phone calls, I usually put my daughter there. I used to have it on the bottom, but it's easier visually to see it on top and then my to-do list and then whatever I need to write there so and I have everything all my schedule for I believe me I have stuff coming <laughs> if you can see that this is my work schedule my uh, schedule for church and my granddaughter uh, she homeschools and so I take her to classes on Friday um, so I just found you know my my liners basically matched the washi and the washies from different sticker packs and so i try to kind of match you know a kit so this is a kit here this is the one for my granddaughter and birthday you know birthday design i just thought that was cute and i really like these colors that she used um in her kits and so there's that and i really like to know what my schedule is um in the future this is not a kit, but you can tell I use the, um, I mean, I can tell because I know what my washi looks like, but if it's highlighted here, then you know it's not a kit. And I just had fun, you know, enjoying decorating this. And I really want to sticker this up in terms of memory keeping. I'm thinking, I, I made a video um, yesterday and I posted it this morning. But um, on my day on two pages, I'm really gearing towards, in terms of memory keeping, using stickers to really use this page here. You know, my, my day on two pages, this page here for memory keeping. Um, that's what I'm gearing towards. I haven't decided, but 100%. But I am like maybe 60%, 50%, 50%. So this is pretty. I always like these colors, like this pretty light green. And this is April, so we're near, heading towards the end. So that's the end. And then these are just going to use as just note pages. I can use them for dailies, notes, list, whatever. Um, sometimes my granddaughter likes to write in my Hobonichi weeks, and so I'll let her do that. I did that in my 2023 that I'm using now, and so it's a it's a cute memory. But that is all I added, um, and I love this color. This is the coffee one. I should have ordered some more. But anyway, and my YouTube. So that's all that is new. If you want a full flip, I will include that video below. But I just, I did want to share my updates. And this is what it looks like, kind of. Um, and this will go in the plastic cover that I am using now. But see, it's kind of all the stickers. But I really want, I like, I like chunky weeks. I love when I see them on YouTube. And sometimes I try, but they don't just, they don't get chunky on me. I don't know. Don't know, but I will try but this is only going to be used from January through April. So I'm not sure how chunky it will get. So we'll see. So that is it. If you have any questions, let me know. But I just wanted to quickly share that. And I'll talk to you guys next time.